Now this is one of the most interesting parts of the show, especially when we are able to have celebrity guests sit on the couch with us. We've been doing everything possible to hold it in, control our excitement, but we finally have Linda Jofo in the studio. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. All right, and she's joined by the producer of a movie that just came out. And um, I've been so, so eager to find out all about this. Um, I know that Yomi and MM have been sending me questions, sending me information about this amazing movie, Chief Daddy. And uh, now Queen Martin's co-producer on the movie is joining us as well. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. All right then. So. Okay, so where do we start from? First of all, congratulations. Thank you. On your wedding. <laughs> Thank you. I have to say you looked amazing. Oh, uh, you look like such an angel. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and the amazing pho photographs everywhere. How does it feel to be married? Sweet. Sweet? Sweet. I love that <laughs> word you're using. What's the sweetest part? Uh, I get to see him every day. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, so um, I, I, you know I'm going to dig a little bit deeper now. You know now. Wow. Okay, so are we uh, not here for Chief Daddy? I am, of course. So he is your Chief Daddy right now. So yes. let's <laughs> talk a little bit about him. Um, so how did you meet? Uh, we, we've been friends for a while now. Okay. And it's been hello, hi, those kind of things. And um, two years ago, we just met again and rekindled and I sent i told him look you have to try out tinsel i actually blackmailed him to come on tinsel then okay. he came i didn't even know he was my boyfriend who was going to be i just told him there's going to be an audition just come for it and after that yeah we stayed becoming closer and closer and okay. Yeah. So a, a lot of people felt like the sparks were flying on set but it, so it started before the tinsel set the sparks weren't flying before the tinsel set okay. it, we're, we're just friends and <laughs> On set, we just because you know when you start as, start off as friends, yeah, it's it flows naturally. So yeah, all right, just flows. Congratulations! I can hear real happiness in there. Thank I can you. hear it, <laughs> and uh, you know, good luck down the line. There's you people are still doing honeymoon, Navi, honeymoon stage. Yeah, hopefully no, it's uh, continue like that for the for, forever. Yeah. Our honeymoon Amen stage. To that. Amen. Amen to that. Now, uh, of course, we have Queen here. Now, Queen is a producer on, on the movie Chief Daddy. We've yes. already started mentioning Chief Daddy. And the red carpet of that particular event made the whole internet go agog. Mm -hmm. uh, as producer on the, sh on the movie, how were you able to manage all those egos? Because that's a lot of divas in one set. Please tell us about that. So, I mean, it was, it was an amazing experience, first of all, co-producing with Timmy Dayo Abudu. Mm -hmm. And we had over 24 of the biggest actors in Nigeria on that set. And oh my goodness, it was hmm. quite a task okay. <laughs> to, to manage all of them. But I must say, though, that all of them were professionals. You know, I mean, they've all been in the industry for decades even. And they brought their A-game as well because I think they, all, they were also committed to ensuring that um, the final output was amazing. So they were quite professional with everything. Even days when people had to work even over time, they were quite pleasant with it. And they gave us their best, I mean, as you can see on the screen. Yeah. So what was the most fun part about producing it? Um, the most, I don't know about fun per se, but like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I mean, it was, it was interesting to work with all these different individuals and just uh, manage the entire process with um, Temidaya as well and just plotting and planning and you know some of the scenes that you saw, especially the party scene took over two days. Wow. And when I say two days, I mean like filming into days. the wee hours of the morning, like literally some of those scenes where you see people dancing and smiling, it's like 4 a.m. in the morning. Wow. Wow. You know, so when you're working with a team who is very committed and a team who would literally do anything mm. to just ensure that work keeps going, then it's kind of easy for you as well. Do you All get right. what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now, Linda, you were on set as well. Were you on set every single day of shooting or was it just a few days that uh, you took? Because of people like <laughs> uh, Queen and Timmy Dyer, we had a schedule which was properly arranged. So we didn't, I didn't have to come on set every day. Okay. And we always very punctual mm. and very on time. Mm. If they tell me my call time was 12, I get there at 12, I get my makeup done, food, everything, and I start shooting. I do, they don't even waste my time. Amazing. So it was not every day, 
Amazing. And the days where we had to shoot long hours, it was fun. We totally forgot what we were, we were just because we had so many people there and we'd be laughing and gisting. We became like one big family, so All it was right. fun. So everybody's making it sound very, very rosy. Nobody's because telling us about the challenges. There Nobody's telling us how difficult it was. The only challenge is when we shot till late and we felt like sleeping. You would okay. hear us singing or making jokes or laughing okay. or trying because to drink. Also, another thing is, a lot of the actors also have very good relationships with themselves mm. offset. So okay. You can imagine that there's a lot of banter, mm. there's a lot of jest. And of course, there were challenges. You know, there were times truly where, um, you know, certain things would happen beyond anybody's control. You know, equipment would yeah. maybe malfunction yeah. or the generator yeah. would just not come up. Oh, no. And, you know, so those, I mean, the rain mm. would fall. And yeah. I mean, the party scene was an outdoor scene. Mm. And so you can imagine like rain falling on your set with all that decor. Because, you know, when we throw parties, we kind of throw it big. Ah, you know, so, me. so you can imagine all of those challenges um, that we had to do deal with but I think eventually everybody just would just put the pain or the troubles or all the stress aside and when it's when the director calls action everybody just Smiles. kind of just switches it up and just delivers really really great to hear really really great to hear so it's out in cinemas December 14th fantastic December 14th we can't wait to see it